Alright, so this is going to be hopefully a video of iMathis, uh, aka MyOpenMath, uh, doing the LTI uh, tool certification. So here we go. Uh, so first thing we're doing here is launching as a an instructor. And MyMathis requires that we actually log in when we launch as an instructor. I have an LTI test course that I'm going to link with. I'm going to go ahead and place assessment A here, uh, and now we've got our LTI placement of assessment A. We can preview it if we want. Great, onward. Uh, so now we're launching as a learner, and so that should take us, because we just made this placement, take us directly into uh, that assessment. Great. Now we're launching as an instructor again. This is a different um, uh, link uh, placement ID and so uh, because it's the same uh, course ID though context ID it's recognizing that we're already linked the course so it's just asking which assessment do I want to use and so I'll link in assessment B this time which uh, as you can see is a different assessment uh, and so that's looking good and now we're launching as an instructor with max privacy uh, so this time we're not providing any information um, Amathus doesn't really care because it's going to ask you to log in anyway. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and actually let's let's make sure that we can create a new account here. So let's do demo teacher uh, demo teacher oh no, no. and go ahead and do that. So now we don't have any courses to link uh, because because this. The instructor doesn't have any courses yet, uh, so they're not going to be able to do anything, but they wouldn't be getting this page if they weren't logged as an, as an instructor, so we're good. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, except the only problem is this is not going to work very well uh, if uh, for testing purposes. So we need to give this person a course to uh, link into. Hold on. All right, so I made a copy of the LTI test course, so now we have something to link to. And uh, we'll go ahead and make place assessment C here, uh, which should be, again, a different assessment. Good. And now we're going to launch as a student. Now, because we're launching with an email but no name, uh, we're, it's, uh, our math is going to ask for names so that we can refer to them. Uh, but you know we can put in a fake name if we want. Uh, and that'll take us directly into the assessment. Uh, now we're going to launch with uh, just given name, and we should be okay there, um, just for the fun of it. Yeah, that was just I knew this page showed the name, and so um, you know given the the full name, it it you know sticks it in there somehow, or given the given in family it works. Uh, let's see here, now we're going to do full name but not the given. Let's make sure we got a name attached. Yep, looks good. Next, uh, fully qualified instructor. We wouldn't be seeing this page if it wasn't an instructor, uh, so I don't feel any particular need to do anything else here. Um, so again, instructor, we're seeing the right instructor page. We're seeing the right instructor page. Uh, let's see. Oh, learner. Oops. Okay, so we needed an instructor here to make a placement. So we'll go ahead and place our uh, LTI test again with a placement of A. And now our learner should have something to connect into. Good. Uh, next, uh oh, now we're launching as a learner to provide a grade service, but we have no placement. What happened to our placement? That would have happened back in one of the first steps, so let's go figure out what happened. And I just remembered what the problem was. The problem is that this placement isn't set up until the next test. So in the next, uh, no, this is still learner. Yeah, somewhere along the way here, we're going to get the instructor. Here it is. So now the instructor can place an item. Once the instructor places the item, then if we go back to number 12, we'll actually have an assessment here. 
And so let's go ahead and um, uh, answer a question. So we're going to go ahead and multiply 39 times 5, 195. Submit that. Yay, we got it right. Uh, so now there should be a grade of 10 out of 30 or one third in the grade book. Let's check. And look, there's our grade of one third. Yay. Uh, how do I go back from here? Uh, oh, that just popped open a new window. Okay, so we'll keep that out of the way. Next. And so now we're going to get, um, is this another learner? I think this is another learner. Um, launch from the same resource as a different learner. Yes. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to answer a question. Uh, should we answer a couple of them this time? Sure. And so now we should have a grade of 66. Let's bring our grade book back over and yay, we have a second grade. Awesome. Now let's hear this one we already did. This was our teacher launch. Um, just for the fun of it, let's take a look and see. We can see those scores. We should be able to, if we, as a teacher, go in here and say, no, you only deserve eight points for that. Uh, ooh, we got some header information errors going on here. All right. Well, so we'll have to go debug that. Meanwhile, let's see if our grade got sent. Yep, see, there's our grade changed. So I'm going to go figure out what caused this. Ah, the good old blank line outside the PHP tag error. Let's double check to make sure that's all fixed now. So if we change this to a 9 and record, yay, no bug that time. Good. Uh, and ho again, hopefully that will have updated our grade here. Yep, our grade just changed there. Excellent. We are looking good. Uh, moving on. The, again, we need to scoot forward to the instructor side. The instructor is going to make a new item. Uh, so we'll go ahead and link in assessment B. Going back here, there's assessment B. Student answers that, gets it right. Hopefully we have a new grade over here in the grade book. Yep, there's our point 0.5 there. So now here's our instructor. Instructor can view grades just for the fun of it. Let's make sure that we can clear the grade. So this is going to delete the grade out of the iMathis grade book. Let's make sure that deletes it out of here. Yes, it deletes it out of there. Of course, now to pass our certification, we're going to have to go back and get a grade again. Okay, so now we've tested student recording grade, instructor updating grade, and instructor deleting grade. Yeah, those are all of our outcome types. And so we are good on our outcomes testing. Uh, oh, except the for a separate placement, which again, we need our instructor to place. Looks like we're launching from a different course ID this time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link it in with the same course on iMathis, though, but I'll link it in with a different assessment. Uh, now our student should be able to go in here, answer our multiple choice question this time, and hopefully we've got our fourth item from a different context, and we've passed all of our LTI conformance LTI 1.1 outcomes tests. Hooray! Now we just got to finish up the last few basic tests. All right, let's see what we got left. Um, oh, we do. We got one more outcome test. We need to. Oh wait, no, this was the instructor placement of that last one. Okay, uh, this is an instructor user going into a new resource context, um, and we're the instructor should have editing rights. Yes. We are logging in here as an instructor. Instructor can do whatever an instructor is supposed to do. Uh, we're still supposed to have instructor rights. Again, we wouldn't see this page if we didn't. Um, instructor, we wouldn't see this page if we didn't. Um, and now we're getting to the point where we don't have enough information because iMathis does require uh, context ID. So we're unable to launch. We have a reasonable error message. We don't transfer back to the LMS. Maybe that's an issue, but uh, uh, I figure if it's embedded, they should be able to click somewhere else to get out. Um, 
So now we're removing roles. If we're removing roles, we're going to launch as a student. So that's what, what's happening here. Uh, except there's no placement associated with it, but that dialog was for the student role, so no roles, it defaults to student. Um, again, no context, it's going to pop an error. Uh, in this case, there's no user ID. iMathis doesn't do anything unless if it has a user ID. So again, error message, um, completely broken link, error message as well. And that is it. We are done with all of our LTI tests. We are 1.1 conform.